Hi, my name is Beth and I'm a low vision occupational therapist with Future Insight. Today, I'm going to show you a little bit about how to best view or read PDF files on your Android mobile device. So here I have this article that someone sent me in an email, and when I clicked on it to open it up, it opened with the default basic PDF viewer that came with the phone. But for people with low vision, there are a few limitations. First of all, you'll see that it opens with black text on a white background. And if this doesn't happen to be your preferred viewing mode, there's no option to change it, not without going into your accessibility options and changing over to the inverted color scheme. But more importantly, if I want to enlarge the text for easier reading, I have to zoom with my fingers, then leaving me to scroll horizontally across the page, which is perfect if I want to lose my place and have to start all over again it can be very frustrating. But there is a solution, several in fact. There are other free apps that do a much better job of creating a more low vision friendly user experience. So the two apps that I'm going to discuss today are Adobe Acrobat Reader and Foxit PDF. I'll give you a quick intro on each one and tell you about the pros and cons. So first, I'll show you Adobe Acrobat Reader for Samsung. It still opens up in the traditional black text on white mode, but there is a taskbar that allows you to make some pretty important changes. To toggle the taskbar on and off, simply tap the page. So at the center of the taskbar, there's a page icon. Tapping the page icon opens up some different options. Most importantly, at the bottom, you have the ability to select night mode, which gives you white text on a black background. Another option on the taskbar is the water droplet icon to the far left, which represents Adobe's liquify mode. It fundamentally alters the appearance of the document, allowing text to wrap, which means no more horizontal scrolling, and that means reading is a lot easier. You may have noticed, however, that when I switched over to liquify mode, I did lose night mode. And that's a big disadvantage of this Adobe app. But let's get back to liquify mode. Next to the water droplet, you'll see the letter icons. Clicking on that gives you several options that can make reading a bit easier. You can adjust text size, character spacing, and line spacing. You can magnify your text size all the way up to 800%. But I caution you that if your magnification gets too large, you'll really reduce the number of words or even the number of letters that you can fit across your screen at one time. For demonstration purposes, I'll set the magnification at 200% or 2x. Next, let's adjust our character spacing. It can be adjusted all the way to 125% of the default. And finally, we'll scroll between the different line spacing options. There's close, medium, large, and extra large. We'll set it to medium. Here's what this all looks like reading the article. Although this is a nice interface, I should point out that one major disadvantage of Adobe Acrobat Reader for Samsung Mobile is that there's no interface that allows you to have the article read aloud to you. Not unless, of course, you use some of your phone's accessibility functions like Voice Assistant or TalkBack. So, in summary, I find this mobile interface to be mediocre for low vision users. Its biggest advantage is it does allow you to adjust the line and character spacing, and you can zoom all the way up to 800%. But the disadvantages are that night mode is kind of quirky, and there's no read aloud function within the app. Now let's take a look at Foxit PDF for Android, and I think you're going to like it. First of all, there's a lot more functionality built into this mobile app than there is with Adobe Acrobat but I'm just gonna stick with the basics that are important for a low vision user. So while Adobe had their taskbar on the top, 
Foxit actually has two taskbars, but the one that we're going to be most focused on is the taskbar at the bottom, specifically the second icon to the left, which is Foxit's page view icon. It's literally a sheet of paper and a pair of glasses. Get it? Sheet view, if that helps you remember what it is. So when we select page view, you'll see that if we scroll down, we can select night mode. Great, just like we could in Adobe. But what about that cool liquify mode that we saw in Adobe? Well, Foxit calls it reflow mode. And again, you want to select your page view, the second icon to the left on the bottom, and select reflow. So as you may have already noticed, Foxit allows you to use both night mode and reflow mode simultaneously, which is pretty cool, and that's something that we couldn't do in Adobe. That said, your options in reflow mode are a bit more limited. With Adobe, we could magnify to 800% and adjust both character spacing and line spacing. Here, we don't have the option to adjust either character or line spacing, but we can increase the font size and the text does wrap so there's no need to scroll horizontally. Now, it doesn't list the magnification on the screen, but when I zoomed all the way in and I compared it to Adobe, the max magnification on Foxit appears to be approximately 240% or 2.4x. But I'm saving what may be the best for last. Foxit PDF allows you to use a speak mode that's integrated into the app. And I think it makes things just a little bit nicer for users who don't want to use their phone's voice assistant, but who also don't want to read long passages in a PDF. To get to speak mode, we'll exit out of reflow and again, select our page view. From there, we scroll down and select the headset icon, which is speak. Falls are a leading cause of accidental death worldwide, World Health Organization, WHO. 2013, approximately 35% of individuals. And as you might expect, you can also adjust the speed of the voice. That's going to be to the right. And you can adjust all the way up to two times as fast and slow down all the way to half as fast. Let's try it at 1.5x. and hit the play. Approximately 35% of individuals over the age of 65 fall annually Talbot. Musial. You get the idea. So there you have it, a side-by-side -side comparison of two free PDF reader apps that you can download from the Google Play Store that hopefully will make your life and work a bit easier. So unless you really need a high level of magnification, I think that the Foxit PDF is just a little bit more user-friendly for the low vision user. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you'd like more training on topics like this so that you can live, work, and thrive with low vision, contact Future Insight at 603-224-4039. Thanks and have a good day.